How's it going guys? This is your boy the Rack Attack here and we are playing Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain. So you all may have seen that, um, uh, you may have seen this part already, but I, had, I decided to re-record the whole series just because there's just so many problems. It just made the whole series unwatchable. So the first time I re-recorded was because um, the game double recorded. I mean, the audio, the mic double recorded the audio from the TV, and I didn't realize until we recorded a bunch, so I was like, okay, well, we gotta delete them all, because it's pretty, un like, it just makes it unwatchable having to hear echoes throughout the whole Let's Play. And then number two, I'm re-recording again, because the video quality was crap, because I didn't upgrade my um, drivers and my HAPOG, so the, the, the game just didn't look too too good so now we're recording hopefully this time this re-recording is gonna look beautiful it's gonna be sound great we're gonna have a good time we're gonna laugh and great time yeah it'll be a good time grand old time um also yeah so this is gonna be a blind let's play but um up until south africa it's not gonna be blind because well i mean we already re-recorded it so uh i've already seen it but we'll probably be able to get to South Africa faster and then everything from that point is going to be blind and it'll be raw experience or raw emotions that I will portray. Yeah, um, I don't know. For the cutscenes, apparently Konami uh, put a copyright claim on my last video, so I don't know if it's because I wasn't talking during the cutscene and it was just showing a raw cutscene, I don't know. So, I may make a few comments here and there during cutscenes, but I'll do my best not to ruin the mood in the cutscene. It'll be more just reactions to it rather than talking over it. But I mean, for the first part, uh, it may be more than just a little bit of commentary um, during the cutscenes, just because I've already seen it. So, like, my reactions aren't going to be genuine. It's going to be because I've already seen it and, like, it hasn't been so long since I've seen it that I forgot what happened, so, yeah. But this this jam's good, The Man Who Sold the World by David Bowie. It's good, good times. Uh, when I listen to this song, I don't know why, but the, M the Metal Gear version sounds... Anyway, in my opinion, sounds awesome or better. But when I listen to, like, the original version, it sounds great, but I mean, I don't know, it's probably some sound effect they put into this one, or it's just, I guess it's like, um, the atmosphere they put you in in this game just kind of makes you feel the song more, I don't know. Oh, uh, this is gonna take forever. Can we... Okay. Nothing really happens this one, so we're probably just gonna skip it. It's more of just Big Boss wakes up, or is waking up. I think the next cutscene is when he actually wakes up and like... Well, actually, no, he wakes up the first time and I think he has a heart attack or whatever and falls back asleep. And on this one, we get a little bit more um, backstory because the doctor actually comes in, so... Yeah. Because I'm trying to get to South Africa as fast as possible, but I mean, I want to show the cutscene because... Uh, I don't know, I don't... I want I want to show you guys everything in this game, but... Uh, man, I don't know. What do I want to do? Okay, you know what? How about this? How about this? For the f for the hospital part, we'll just skip the cutscenes. Just because I've already gone through this twice. And, like, the whole hospital, like, uh, chapter is just... It's like a really long interactive cutscene. And, again, I want to save time. And, like, I want to get to South Africa really badly. And, like... I've already re-recorded this twice, and I'm sure you guys have seen this this whole hospital thing play out anyway t dozens of times, and like it's not the most exciting thing because it's literally the beginning, and there's no like fun gameplay or anything. So it's just me walking in a straight line. I got to turn on the uh, subtitles real quick, but um, yeah, it's just not worth showing right now. I mean. It was worth showing the first time I recorded because it was a blind, like, it was blind at that point, and I don't know, it was, it, like, 
I never went through it, so it was fun to react to it, and it was just really cool to see it. But I've already seen this twice, and it's just, it's really, it's gone on long enough. <laughs> Look up, please. Okay, sure. You got it, boss. Um, what else? Yeah, again, it's just not exciting, and the once we get to Afghanistan, things get more exciting, and the cutscenes are a lot shorter too. So. I mean, it's worth showing. Okay, sweet. So we can skip that. Just gotta put our birthday, cause all he did was ask. But yeah, I can summarize this for y for you if you guys want. Just cause uh, what do you call it? In case you guys are new to Metal Gear and like you just kind of want to watch a Let's Play rather than play, which I'd say go get out the go and get out the ge get out there and get the game. I can't speak today. Um, but yeah. But if not, I mean, I'm. Glad you guys chose me to watch it for your first time, or watch me play play it. So I mean, that's really cool of you guys if you guys are doing that. But um, yeah, I can just describe what happens in the cutscenes so that we skip. So saves us time and you guys uh, know what happens. Okay, so basically we got told we got we were uh, awake for nine. I mean, we were in a coma for nine years. And I feel great. Okay. Um, we're in Cyprus. That's basically what happened in that one. Uh, and then this one, the doctor dies? No, the doctor and the nurse die. I don't know. I mean, again, I'm not too fond of these hospital cutscenes. Like, it was fun the first time again. But this time around, I already know what happens. And I want I want you guys to see the fun stuff as soon as possible, rather than go through all this boring. Well, it's not boring, but again, y'all know what I mean. Anyway, I'm gonna stop describing this cutscene stuff. You guys get what I mean. I've gone on long enough on that. Cool. So we got to choose our avatar, cause like in game, it's like you know they'll know who you are or whatever. So we got to choose a cutscene. Okay, and this and this cutscene, I didn't know this was quiet, but yeah, it's quiet who tries to kill you. And she, if you notice, she has a voice. A little... Well, she doesn't say anything, really, but... She has a voice. Well, right now. You just heard it, so... Yeah. So, I wonder what happens... Like, how she lost the voice, because, um... Again, I didn't get so far in the game... Yet, to figure out... What happened, and, like, how she ended up without a voice. And... Yeah. So far, we just know she works for Cypher. And later, we recruit her. Which I did recruit her in my... Um... Last playthrough, I guess. Um, and, uh, but I didn't get to use her yet, just because, uh, like, you, you get her, but, like, Miller has a big fit about it, so, yeah. Oh, look at those shaved legs. Anyway, we should skip that. Okay. Not shaved legs. I mean, hairy legs. But, yeah, see what I mean? It's just, like, I'm just literally walking straight, and, like, it's pretty much like this throughout the whole hospital arc. Um, only at the end do you get a gun, uh, but I mean, you only shoot, like, a few people, or you could just avoid them completely. But I guess while we're going through this, um, apparently there's, or my friend was telling me, you know, maybe Ishmael isn't real, maybe it's just kind of in Big Boss's head. So, and that's a, that's a really inter interesting point, because, I mean... Ishmael just kind of disappears after the whole hospital thing, and, um... How he just mentions that, you know, I've been watching you for nine years. I mean, he literally could have been watching him for nine years and, like, making sure he's safe and no one attacks him, but... That's possible, but... We better take the elevator. He just kind of appears and reappears out of nowhere. Um, and, like, he should have died multiple times, because, like, there's this explosion, then there's... I think he gets shot later on or something, but, or he should have been shot, so, I don't know, what do you guys think, uh, comment below, I mean, unless it's the spoilers, and, like, it reveals later on, then don't comment that, but, was Ishmael just a figment of Big Boss's imagination just to help him get through this whole hospital incident, or was he an actual dude that was trying to protect you? What the hell is that? Oh, yeah, we can skip that, cool. So yeah, basically in that cutscene, um, a guy who looks like Volgan, a fiery Volgan, just exploded and, uh, 
That's really what happened. You just exploded. You got thrown back by the explosion and dislocated your shoulder. Yep. <laughs> and this is why I wanted to skip the cutscenes, because, like, this whole thing's an interactive cutscene, and it just takes forever. I'd rather just get into the gameplay and get to the fun stuff and get to South Africa faster so uh, we can continue this blind Let's Play. Because I really want to know what happens. I mean, it's just killing me having to re-record this twice now. Go through this whole hospital thing twice. It's It's not fun. I mean, I don't mind the other stuff because, I mean, at that point it just depends how good you are and you can just kind of get through the missions faster if you're really good. Um, and not only that, I already know what happens or like where things are, so saves time on the whole, what do I do kind of thing. Anyway. Uh, am I stuck? Okay, no, I'm not. I don't know what happened there. Also, uh, let me know, guys, um, if any of you use a HAPOG HDR or PVHDR2, the gaming edition, let me know or give me a link to any, uh, any video that, uh, gives, like, shows the best video quality settings. Because I looked around and, I mean, I put, I put the best quality settings based on what I found, but, um... I don't know, sometimes it looks good, or sometimes it doesn't, or it looks good, but then when I render it, it doesn't look good, so that leads me to my next question. Um, so I'm using Movie Studio Platinum 12 for my um, video editing, and uh, when I render it, sometimes it ends up looking really good, sometimes it doesn't look good. So if you guys remember, the first time I recorded this, uh, the first time I recorded this series, the first two episodes looked really good, the only problem was just the whole, uh, double recording incident, so, because of that, I had, to, I'm gonna take, I took down the video, so, I don't know, I don't know what to do, <laughs> but then when I recorded the newer ones without the video or the audio problems, then the quality looked like crap, so, like, even before rendering it, it looked like crap, and then after rendering it looked even worse, so, I don't know. But for the Hapog right now, I set it to like 11 megabytes per second bitrate, and um, the, it's on variable. So I don't know. Everyone tells me like that's pretty. That's pretty solid, and like that's where it should be. And then for video rendering, I put it to uh, like like 720p, like 1280 by 720. Um, and then it's on 60 frames per second. Because, like, the, the video is recorded at 60 frames per second. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. So hopefully you guys can help me out with that. And every time I try to record it in, um, 10 or render it in 1080p, because this video, this game's also recorded in 1080p, um, it just, like, glitches out and stuff, so... But when I put in 720p, it's just fine and works great, but... I don't know, it's not that much of a difference in terms of quality, but... You know... I'm trying to get the best for you guys. And, I don't know, I put in so much hard work for all this, I want it to be as best as possible. I don't want it to... All that hard work I went through just for nothing. Or just to be subpar. Anyway, almost... Oh, I yeah, know this is not a cutscene, it's like... Maybe a cutscene now I can skip. Oh, not yet. Okay. Wait, is the subtitles on? Or, I don't know, I haven't been paying much attention. Yeah, they're on. Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Oh, I have to go closer. Oh, yeah. 
I don't know why they have to zoom in there. <laughs> okay, cutscene skip. Awesome. Nope, it's not a cutscene I can skip. Alright. So now you just gotta hide. I don't know, we might be able to save him. No, actually, I don't think we'll be able to save Miller in this episode. Definitely next episode, I think, we'll be able to save Miller. Um, once we get to Afghanistan. Okay, so we gotta hide here, because they're gonna check through the, all those, and then we'll just crawl once they sh bust down through that uh, curtain. Now, this is something we can't skip. We gotta wait it out. Yeah, when I first saw this, I was wondering what they were shooting at, but then I forgot that, uh... Or then I realized there's patients sitting in beds, or lying in beds. So that's what they were shooting at. So I was a little confused about that, because I am a dummy dumb. But... Here we are, so we'll just go here, and then we should be good. And should go do a cutscene with, uh... What's his name? Ishmael. Cool. Skip that. Skip. Whoa. Skip that. Okay, now we should be good, right? To venture, yes. Okay. I'm already there. I beat you to it because I already know what happens. Now, this whole part didn't make any sense to me at all. Because there's. Obviously dead bodies, I mean, they're bleeding out. But once they get to you and Ishmael, they're like, you know what, we're not gonna shoot them, even though they're moving. Let's not shoot them, they're dead bodies for sure. But they do hesitate, because they realize it's you. And this guy over here is just an idiot, because... He's literally just carrying a bazooka around. And, I don't know. Um, if you are in a small corridor... And you have a bazooka... Or, and you're trying to shoot with it. it doesn't sound like the smartest idea. Because <laughs> you could easily die from that. Can we skip? Yes. So they shoot all the bodies and then... Okay, so we have to... First aid by... Okay. And then I think we run backwards. Yeah. Last time I ran forwards because it just started me there. Okay, now we get the gun. Or we get a gun, hopefully soon, and then we can. Then we're just kind of on our own, and then meet Oslo. It's a good time. Yeah, I think we'll be able to in this episode. We'll be able to make it right to Afghanistan, like right after Oslo's whole uh, spiel. We should be able to make it to Afghanistan, and then uh, we'll end it there, and then we'll go and save Miller next episode. And actually get to play the game, not go through a cutscene. Okay, wait. Don't I get my gun at this point? Pretty sure I do. Nope, I guess not. Oh crap, I should hide. Oh, fuck. They see me? Okay, good. They didn't see me. That would have sucked. I'm gonna just make this even longer than it really should be. Okay, just follow Ishmael. Don't do anything stupid. As I tend to do. One thing you guys will realize, and I'm hoping to fix this, is um, once we do start doing missions, I get to a point where I go through the whole mission, not getting caught, not being lethal, doing a great job, and right at the end of the mission, I blow it and start getting spotted and alerted and then I have to resort to being lethal, and it's something I'm learning. Okay. Okay, if you let me move, maybe I can. Okay, so we take out that. Take out the fire. And then two guys should probably run in, I think. Or is that behind me? Okay, no, it's right here. One headshot, two headshot. Cool. Now at this point we don't really need Ishmael. I mean we do, but I mean to progress we do. 
but we have a gun now and we can take care of ourselves, so even if people spot us, we're good. So this guy, take him out. Okay, I shouldn't have probably killed him, I should have probably snuck past him. Oh well. Fudge. I usually get through this part without getting caught. Usually. Well, I mean, I don't know. Fudge, is it even worth... I think now I'm not gonna get an S rank. Who's shooting at me? Oh, that guy. <sighs> Done. Fudge. Okay. Um, and there's that dude. Yeah, I'm just trying to do this fast. I don't want to waste too much time being all ta tactical and whatever. Just want to get through this. But yeah, this is kind of what I meant, as I mentioned earlier. I get through the whole thing all cool and easy, and then all of a sudden I get caught and just screw up everything. Okay, there he is. He dead yet? Okay, I'll just head to the door because that's where. So it starts. Like, yeah, see, that's what I mean. Like Ishmael, he just kind of like comes in and out of nowhere. So it's like that. Um, so that's what my friend's theory was: is that this could just be a he could just be a figment of his own imagination, just helping him cope with all this <laughs> craziness that's happening in this intro. Uh, where's the where? What the? Okay, right here. Right here. Oh my god. Okay. And skip. And skip. <laughs> and yeah. Okay, and then he just kind of disappears in this part because he was in the ambulance with you. And uh, it blew up. Or, like, it flipped over and he just kind of disappears without a trace, and then Ocelot kind of just takes over. So, I mean, I don't know, Common Guys, if, like, as long as no spoilers, because I'm sure you learned something about Ishmael later on. But, was he a figment of your imag of Big Boss's imagination, or was he real? So yeah, that's like a Vulgan guy on a horse, or a Vulgan looking guy. Probably is Vulgan, because I mean, there's that uh, old Psycho Mantis looking character, and it's just probably using your, he or she is using your memories to torment you, so it's probably not a real Vul- well, it's not, probably not actually Vulgan, it's just a fiery entity that looks like Vulgan. Yeah, we'll definitely get to the beginning of Afghanistan at this point, at this rate, I mean. And then, uh, we'll go and save Kaz, our buddy. You get him? Okay, I think that's it, yeah. We shook him off. Nice. Oh, nope. Oh! Don't give me that false hope. Harbor. I wonder what happened if he just ran out of bullets. He probably just died, but I wonder if Osla would say anything about losing so many bullets. Okay, so bridge breaks, we fall through the bridge. Big Boss wakes up. How did I lose heroism? Oh, because I killed everybody. <laughs> and I probably didn't get an S. Oh, no, I still got S. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Sounds like it's impossible not to get S, but apparently my friend got an A or something. So, I don't know. I found that funny. I feel like that S was should have been given. Because it's just like an interactive cutscene. You don't really have much control. It's pretty linear and straightforward. Okay, chapter one, revenge. 
Yeah, so basically, Ocelot just says, so we've, um, Miller kind of started another mother base or another, like, MSF, um, and he's been, like, trying to keep you safe for the last nine years while, uh, making their new MSF or Diamond Dogs more powerful to, to get revenge on Cypher for what they did nine years ago. Um... And then Big Boss is learning how to be a human again, I guess. Um, and he definitely took some roids for sure. I mean, it's impossible that in a week's time he got all jacked up again like he was before. And now he's got his prosthetic arm. That was basically that cutscene. Anyway, we should probably skip it. I don't know why we're watching it. <laughs> In case that copyright gets to me too. It's not gonna be a fun time. Vehicles, I don't have any vehicles. <laughs> All right, episode one, Phantom Limbs. Okay. I guess we'll skip this cutscene. I mean, basically he just says, he emphasizes that Kaz has to be saved, otherwise the chance of getting revenge on Cypher is impossible. And he just gives us like in-game tutorial stuff. Like, he's probably, actually probably gonna go through that right now. Yeah. And then he's gonna say, you're the legend on the battlefield and good times. Okay. You see Wandy on the map? Yep. A marker it. Okay, that's cool. We already markered it. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, in scope. Okay. Yep. Yes, I do. Right there. Place. Okay. That's Violo Village, <laughs> the Violo Calais. The villagers fled the war and evacuated a while back. Since then, it's become a base for the Soviet's 40th Army. A few days ago, Miller was taken through there, en route towards Dewandehar. You may be able to pick up the trail there. It's Sounds true. good. Put a marker okay. on it so you don't lose track of where it is. Alright, marker placed. Along the way. Okay. Then he basically says, you're the boss. Welcome back. Good job. Okay. So I guess that's it for this episode, guys. So, um, hope you guys all enjoyed. And, uh, I mean, if for those who did want to see the cutscenes, I mean, you can find it elsewhere. I mean, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Like, it's the intro. Um, nothing too big happens. And, like, just by watching the trailers from before, it's pretty much the exact same thing. Basically, Big Boss just wakes up and he starts his all starts being Big Boss again. I guess goes on missions and saves the world and stuff. Um, but yeah, I will show the cutscenes from this point on because they're well. I'll be selective. If it's a really long cutscene, I probably won't show it, um, and I'll just recap what happened in it. But if it's like a short cutscene, like in the mission, then yeah, sure, why not? Uh, it's cool and I don't know I, I enjoy the cutscenes I really do it's just the hospitals okay I should really stop I, I ranted on the hospital enough um, but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe and uh, if you didn't let me know what I can do to improve and uh, make a better let's play or better viewing experience for you guys also don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter my links are in the description below and uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. We'll go save Miller and uh, see our new mother base. Take it easy, guys.